Mm-hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show. And we're talking about some NFL news. It's going to two years, so. Pretty bad of a take here by Cam Newton, a former NFL quarterback. So, former NFL quarterback claims that hashtag Dolphins Tua, tag my Lola, hashtag Cowboys Dak Prescott, White, hashtag Lions Jared Goff, and hashtag 49ers Brock Purdy are all, quote, game managers. They are game managers. They are not difference makers. V at the SF 49ers. And that's why you're not a NFL quarterback right now, Mr. Cam Newton. I mean, yeah, you can say they're game managers, but Dak is far from a game manager. No wonder you're sitting on the couch. I don't think most of these, like, Dak is definitely going to make game manager. A game manager would not be in the MVP if he was a game manager. Dak's been letting that ball loose this year, throwing in the field. Probably the best, most accurate th- uh, season of his career. So not a great take. Cam Newton, the one season wonder, because he, <laughs> he looked through his career, really only one good season overall, and they lost in the Super Bowl that year. But the guy leading the NFL in TD passes is a game manager. Okay, I, I got it. So it sounds like someone lost their job to Mac Jones. He was dressed like getting ready for some yodeling because the league don't want him. Like, look at that, look at that act, fucking outfit. You know, Gotham 2, I could see you say as a game manager, but they can pair your MVP candidates. Like, I don't think Purdy's that good, but come on. He's not a game manager. Dak and Purdy are not game managers. Two and golf, I, I can see. So the hashtag Panthers will apparently wear their black helmets against the hashtag Falcons on week 15. Well, at least they're going to lose in style. Will it help them win another game? No, but it'll help them lose in style. So, per your report, hashtag Patriots owner Robert Kraft has already decided to, quote, move on from Bill Belichick at the end of the season after lo- after their loss of the hashtag Colts on week 10. Source told at Tom, Tommy Kern, Kern, quote, when they came out of the loss in Germany, conversations I had that was that week made it very clear that a decision was made. They were going to play out the string at the end of the year. There would be a parting of the ways for a variety of reasons. Belichick is beyond the point where he could save it, his job with the Patriots once the season ends, according to Kern. So, Robert Kraft has decided to move on, apparently, from Bill Belichick in the season. I'm, I'm definitely, I'm really not surprised. I won't say it's, um, a real, to, that reliable. But I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be shocked. But I can't am shocked as well. I really didn't think they would move on. I thought the only way he would leave is if he gets traded, because he didn't trade coaches, or if he just retired. I mean, he's a great defensive-minded guy, but just offense, not really. I'll believe when I see it. So, breaking. Hashtag Dolphins are signing linebacker slash pass rusher Melvin Ingram per that Schultz report. It's a solid move for solid move uh, for depth slash experience. So, decent move for Miami. So, Perry report, the NFL slash NFLP are reviewing the situation regarding hashtag Steelers linebacker TJ Watt and how and when he entered the NFL's concussion protocol per at rap sheet. So the inconsistency at the end of the NFL is wild. I mean, did they even check in, check him, check him in game? Because everyone watching saw when the concussion, concussion court occurred. I thought he had a concussion, but they I guess never checked them. So I guess they're going to review, review and see what happened. So update. The hashtag Packers cut rookie fifth co- rookie fifth round cornerback. Uh, Kai U Blue. Kai. How you say his name? Damn. 
how bad do you gotta be to get cut your first year? How do you say his freaking name? KYU Blue Kelly. And he was a draft pick by the Ravens in April. I don't even know who this is. I can't even say his freaking name. He's irrelevant. I'm breaking the hashtag Vikings are benching QB Josh Josh for veteran journeyman. Nick Mullins, per at rap sheet at Tom Polisro. The Lynn Sanity run, man, is over for Josh Dobbs. His Lynn Sanity runs over, man. People hyping him up after those, like, two, three weeks, and now he's benched. Life comes at you fast in the NFL. Lynn Sanity runs over. So an update. After cutting him from the active roster, the hashtag Browns signed QB PJ Walsh for the practice squad and also placed off the tackle DeWan Jones and defensive tackle Maurice Hurst on an injured reserve. So an update. The hashtag Chargers signed former TC rookie quarterback Max Duggan to the active roster per his agent at BD McLaughlin. He could be the backup to Easton Stick and can play in case of injury. It's good to see what the rookie has in him. I think um, Max Duggan's a good quarterback, obviously. Led TCU to that national championship a few years ago. I mean, a few years ago. Literally, not this, not, I mean, last season. A pre report. The NFL will have a game in Brazil in 2024. They signed to play at the Arena, the Arena Corthians Arena. And the league will announce about the game tomorrow. So we will have a NFL game in 2024 in Brazil. I mean, I kind of have a feeling it might be the Dolphins versus, I don't know. I feel like it'll be the Dolphins. The Dolphins will play somebody. But we'll see what the game is when the NBA, the NFL announces, excuse me. The Rams cut veteran kicker Mason Crosby plays tight end Hunter Long and injured reserve. Man. I thought we were um, told to have respect to our elders. The Rams clearly have no respect to their elders. Cutting Mason Crosby. So we had some breaking news for the Dolphins. A big one here. Uh, the Dolphins have lost starting lineman Carl Lewis for the season with a torn ACL injury per the team. So that's definitely a, a tough, tough injury for the Bills or for the Dolphins. With a uh, Connor Williams being out for the season because he's been pretty good this year. So per your report, former Bills punter Matt. Ariza had his rape case against his woman dismissed by the woman who accused him via Dan Wetzel. His lawyer, the win is bittersweet, man has been forced to defend himself for the last 16 months against false accusations in a campaign to ruin his career in the NFL. He will never get this time in his life back. I feel like a team should give him a chance to return to the NFL and get his life back on track because apparently it was false accusations and he's been fighting for the last 16 months against this, so... Hopefully he can come. Hopefully he can come back uh, to the NFL. And hope and sh you lock her up for uh, those false accusations. Give him his roster spot and his money, and throw her in jail for you know starting these false accusations. And he wasn't even at that location either. So some people have too much power. It happens way too much. It, it's the same thing with Bowers' accuser. As well, make an example. Throw whatever the dude was facing. False accusations for money is so insane. Like that shit will stick with Bowers even though he, even though he didn't do it. Um, per your report, Brand starting off the tackle, Jedrick Wills. Well. Missed the rest of the season after undergoing surgery on his knee. Per Bleacher Report, he was already an injured reserve but won't, won't return. So another injury to that brand's offensive line. Their offensive line's been injured, hell injured this year. So Patriots starting off the line with Trent Brown told Colt Malik Cunningham, "Go force where your town is respected." After he left to sign with the hashtag Ravens. I mean, this is clearly a shot at the Pats and Belichick for not using him. I mean, clearly a shot, shot at the freaking Patriots.
So the Ravens breaking. We had some breaking news. The Ravens are signing Patriots rookie QB Malik Cunningham off the practice pass practice squad. That's why I mention that because he's going to the Patriot. Um, he's the Ravens are signing him per that rap sheet. So literally two Lamar Jackson type players in the same team. So some breaking news. We had some breaking news today. Um, Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert is out for the rest of the 2023 season. He had surgery repair of the broken fingers, right hand, part of rap sheet, and Mike Garofalo. So he's, he's out for the season. So 23 total TDs to 79 TDs with 3,602 total yards this year. He just can't catch a break. That front office is awful. And the freaking offense was bad. Kellen Moore's bad off the corner. Dent Brand Stavis had a bad head coach. So, per your report, legendary broadcaster Al Michaels is out of NBC's NFL playoff coverage. Quote, any move he wasn't expecting from per Andrew March from the report. NBC has three playoff games next month. The network's number one team, Sunday Night Football, Mike Trico and Chris Collinsworth, will handle two of them, including one that will be exclusive just to the network streaming service, Peacock. When NBC has two games on the first weekend of the playoffs, its number one college team, Noah Engel and Todd Blackledge, along with Simon Porter, Catherine Tappan, will be on the call. I mean, he's kind of been snoozing in the booth. He really hasn't been excited. He's always, he, I don't know, he just hasn't sounded the same this year. He never gets excited during the games and seems more interested, you know, in the spread than the actual game. He fell off, might be an end of an era over now, Michaels. Steelers coach Mike Tomlin told media that wide receiver George Pickens' silent antics and frustrations are a problem. It's a problem because it's not solution oriented. We know we are all frustrated, but we have to manage our frustrations in a professional, mature way. When it's not done that way, it's not necessarily pushing us to solutions. How the hell does every Pittsburgh wide receiver turn out like this? Guess they all keep the tradition going somehow. So, your updated 2024 NFL draft order entering week 15. The Bears 1 and 12, but this, it's the Panthers pick. Be the Bryce Young trade. Patriots at 2. Cardinals at 3. Commanders at 4. Bears at 5. The Raiders at 6. The Jets at 7. The Giants at 8. The Tines at 9. The Chargers at 10. That's your current top 10 listed uh, for the uh, draft order. How the hell Jake Brownings looked the past couple weeks? Are the hashtag Bengals the best bubble team in the NFL? People rightfully wrote them off for Dan after Joe Burrow's injury, with, but with the Steelers starting to lose games in that division and Brandon look like a Burrow clone, can they sneak into the playoffs? I think they can sneak into the playoffs. I mean, Jake Brownings has been good. I think they can sneak into the playoffs, honestly. I really do. But we'll just see. Um, so. Wide receiver Tyreek kills day to day with an ankle injury, so an ankle injury for him. So speed recovery for Tyreek Hill. He didn't play much because of the ankle injury last night. Uh, Ravens all pro returner Devin Doverney suffered a back injury on Sunday. He's being placed on injured reserve sources say. It will not require a procedure, and he should be good for the playoffs field and transfer spot. There's obviously they've got Malik Cunningham. And, I mean Wallace probably stole his job anyways. To be honest. Uh, but yeah, that's all the NFL. Talk, talk about here. So, until next time, I'm out. Peace.